Hi guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to take press-on nails from the store and cut them down and make them look just right for your size hand and nail. So I start out by grabbing these $1 Lasting Shine Easy Removal Press-On Nails from H&M. These ones were on sale for a dollar. You can usually get them for $8 or sometimes they even have them for cheaper. And this is a hack I use a lot because I can't actually paint my nails because of my work. And this is nice when I'm just like about to go out. I have some fun little colors that I can just press on and just go right out the door with them on. I'd say they're really high quality nails. They stick pretty well, but if you do need them to come off, they do come off pretty easily. You just need to press hard. I have done this once before with another set of nails. They were their burgundy ones. And the nice thing about this is what once you have done this with all of your color sizing, which is this the one I've done before, you still have a lot of leftovers. So you can still use those in the future if for some reason you just want a different shape or something just doesn't look right. You do have a lot of extras for going back and changing. And as you can see, I've already gone and started on one just because I like the more rounded tip. I don't like these really long claws. I just don't think it suits my hand very well. And so I do tend to do these more rounded ones or like squoval, I think the it's called. And also the nice part about having them shorter is a lot easier to grab stuff than trying to just pin poke it and grab it. So the first thing you want to do is kind of just like figure out underneath on here you'll look for your nail bed and where it is because even if you have longer nails like I have a bit longer nails right now and you can kind of see them more there you don't want to cut your nails so if you need to file them down a bit first just to like if you do want them really short you can do that but it's also a good guide for like how far you want to go into the nail so I want mine a little longer than my natural nail, so I did look at that while I was cutting, and I got a bit of extra length on that, and so then I have that nice extra nail. Next, you're going to want to take the your nail clippers, and you'll clip them, so you'll just go right over, and like you can pretty much just slide these in, but I suggest going kind of sideways in, and you just go like that, and you press down and cut one side, and then go back and do the other and trim it. And then once you have that, you have kind of almost a look similar to this one. And then you, as you can see, this one has some not so rounded edges on it. It's kind of hard to pick up. But then you can go back and file it. I suggest filing it how you would regularly file a nail and then going back and doing the bottom part so it's not so thick. Because they are thick plastic nails, it's really good quality. So you just go back and file it underneath and just make that part a bit smaller. You can kind of see on these ones I did that. Where I just went back and I filed them a bit more on the underside because no one really sees them. And it just gives them a lot better of a look once you've done these. I really love these ones. They're the matte ones and they look so good. It kind of has a little bit of an ombre from a lighter red to a very deep red and I love that. And then... These ones were also about the same price. H&M has these all the time in their sales section. So if you're looking, honestly, I'd say look sale first because it's the easiest way. You can really do any shape with these if you want because they are so long. Like You can see how long they stick out over my hand. So if you want to leave them long like this, you can. They do go down a bit though, so just be wary of that. It makes it incredibly hard for typing and just like texting, unlocking phones like long nails tend to do, but... Just something to be cognizant about when doing this. And yeah, that's just some of the little hacks I have for cutting these down to make your own size nail and just have it like that. If you if you buy, end up buying these and you just feel like you don't really love the color you want to change it, they are a great base for going back and painting over. The only thing I would suggest is if you're going to do that, make sure you put a base coat because this feels almost like a plastic vinyl wrap on top. So if you're going to do it, the base coat is just going to leave a nice flat layer of just a really good, like almost mattifying effect to just make sure that once the other color goes on, it sits really well. And there you go. If you want more videos like this, press the thumbs up button and check them out. Thanks.